are 13 and 12 in first place Seattle Mariners. It was a nice two out of three against Texas. And as you always say, George, you just got to win series, right? Exactly. And now we're going to be starting a new series today. Win it. I mean, I know it's so simplistic of an approach, but that's baseball. I don't care if you're playing a te- the Rockies who suck, win the series. The White Sox who suck, win a series. The Rangers who don't suck and are defending World Series champions, win the series. All you can ask for in Major League Baseball is to win a series and win a series and win a series, and you're going to find yourself in a really good place. You're listening to the Sports on Tap Seattle podcast. I'm Sammy, and with me, as always, is my older brother, George. Your favorite place to be a fan of Seattle sports. Now let's get this party started. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, too, like, there's, you know, there's some tough ones coming up, which is the ones you really want to win, or at least try to get two out of three. Right now, we're playing, you know, we got we got the Texas one out of the way, got two out of three. We got the Diamondbacks who... Despite being like 12 and 14, they're like, I saw their expected win loss total 16 and 10. And they have, yeah. they have the highest plus minus in even in the entire uh, NL. Like they have a higher expected win total right now than the Dodgers. They've just had some bad luck with like pitching in late innings. And then you have the Braves who are like 17 and six, the next series after that. And then the Astros, and I know the Astros are struggling, but you don't, you don't want to be the team where the Astros break their struggle out on because you never know if the Astros they have the roster and so with with when you have a stretch like that uh, Texas Diamondbacks Braves Astros I think that's when your theory of just win series is where it really comes to matter because you're not going to win all those games against those teams get two out of three you know as much as you can as long as you're taking two out of those three you're going to end up on top after a a long stretch but it's it's going to be a tough stretch right now and it's uh, but it's gonna be a fun one yeah it's gonna be tough but long and fun and stressful that's mariners baseball that's baseball in general i'm uh you know it's just nice to see us on top of the standings though really like we're not used to this in april so i'm more i'm just optimistic right now and usually i'm not this optimistic about the seattle mariners baseball organization but today i am and julio's hitting well and people are mad at us on Twitter, Sammy, especially with um, the third base situation. It's, it's getting feisty already in April. Kind of love it. I love the feistiness in April. Oh, yeah. Oh, Twitter. I love I lot love people get so upset if you don't just say, like, everyone's the best. Everyone's my favorite. Everyone, everyone on Twitter was upset because I tweeted Luis Urias should not be starting over Rojas because he was batting 300. And they hit a home run. And apparently because he hit a home run, that means, like, we should shut down all operations because I can't believe you criticized him. <laughs> yeah. Here's something that I love to do. Uh, and I think sports fans should always do. It's okay to, you want your people to be critical because if not, the organization is going to sit there and say, no one cares. And who cares if we suck? So it's okay to be critical. Sometimes you're going to get some right. You're going to get some wrong. But the point is here, yeah. the team is playing really good. And we're in mid-season. Eight people are angry on Twitter for him, which is great. That means people fucking care. And that's what I want out of our fan base right now, to be honest. Yeah, and it's a good anger, I guess. It's not an anger on the fact that we're like 6 and 25. It's an anger that, you know, it's a it's a care. It's not even anger. It's a care. We're 13 and 12, and everyone really fucking cares because, like, there's a, there's a shot this year. It didn't start the way we wanted. You know, like, even at 13 and 12, it's not exactly what you want, but the the divisional situations working out for us and the fact that the division is all around the same number we're in first place and i can't tell you the last time i remember ending april with the mariners in first place and so if we can do that and start may and you know start a lot of months in first place we will feel really a lot better about this team and it, it also helps that you know honestly it helps the astros are seven and 19 not something we expected it helps The fact that right now we're just competing with Texas. If it was three teams up there at the top, it would probably be even harder. So we uh, we're lucking out a little bit at 13 and 12 that somehow the Rangers are at that same pace. The Astros are seven and 19. The Angels and the A's are just the Angels and the A's. So it, it was it's definitely a blessing for us. Forget liking them or not liking them, but it's a blessing that the Astros have somewhat collapsed at the beginning of the season because 
if it ends up just being a two man race, it looks like Texas is about the same level that we're at. If not, we're maybe a little bit better than them. Yeah, no, no, totally. And, um, at the end of the day, if our pitching remains what our pitching is, I think we're going to win a lot more ball games. And if the bats, I mean, the bats have woken up. I mean, that's what happens at Globe, yeah, at Globe Life Field. Um, I don't know how that's going to translate to T-Mobile Park in April, but we'll find out here pretty quickly. Yeah, I mean, the bats of the 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 thing about the bats, and this is what actually this is a, it's gonna it can come across as a negative, but it's actually a positive. The bats have kind of woken up and not really, but yet it's it's so much better than they were to start the season, right? And the fact that we're sitting here, JP Crawford's batting 198, Jorge Polanco's batting 167, Mitch Garver is batting 134. We're talking about like the fact that the bats, some of the top end bats, like Julio and Mitch Haniger are doing okay. And Ty France is having an okay year. And Cal's, Cal's bat heated up and got, he's at six home runs. Right. Somehow, George, I don't know what it is. It's like the DH position and the second base position is like cursed for the Mariners mm-hmm. because 167 for Garver and 134 for, or, or 134 for Garver, 167 for Polanco. Once those bats, which they're not that bad, obviously. So once they start heating up a little bit, if if the rest of the bats continue to do what they're doing, like it really could be, you know, this team should be a lot better than 13 and 12 once all the pieces right. are starting to click. And as you said, the pitching already is starting to get back to extreme dominance. Exactly. So, yeah, no, looking forward to the like what we do. Uh, hopefully it remains a two team race. And if it is, hopefully, you know, that makes it easier than a three team race to say the least. Yeah. And hopefully we get one. Finally, I yep. would love a AO West, uh, championship, please. Or AO West. Well, I would love the championship AO West, uh, divisional banner. Yeah. Whatever. And then please take down the wild card banner. It's embarrassing. Yeah. That's whatever, bro. You gotta, you gotta yeah. enjoy life. <laughs> No, but that one's embarrassing. I just don't like want that. A little bit, yeah. No, I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying yeah. you just gotta enjoy it. It's all we have right now. So just like let us live. <laughs> well, we appreciate you guys tuning in. This is Mariners on Tap YouTube channel or the Sports on Tap Seattle podcast. So you can find us all our Seahawks, Huskies, and Mariners podcasts on the same feed on the podcast networks. And you can find all our YouTube channels in the links in the description here. So if you're listening on the podcast, you want to find the YouTube, you know where to look. And if you're on YouTube and you want to find the podcast, you know where to look on the descriptions. We will be back um, multiple times a week. So stay tuned. And George, you know what we like to say. Thanks for stopping by. Peace.